ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at a map. I don't do a lot of map reviews on my channel, but once in a while I run into a map that is just awesome. Uh, and especially if you like small farms. Now, this is the Alter... I'm sorry. Alter... <laughs> What's the name of the map? Oh, my God. So professional here at my channel. You got... <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it's called Altenstein. I keep wanting to call it Allerton. I have no idea why, but it's Altenstein. Uh, one of the things I really like about this farm is that they do give you pretty much everything you need to start. So you got the steer tractor with the forklifts. You got all the implements. Um, you got a tipper, which is unfortunately the small tipper, um, but they give you a lot of the, the grass working equipment, um, along with several grass fields that you can pull grass from. Um, they also have, you have a bunch of fields spread around the map. It is a very small map, but you have enough of a different crop. You've got corn, uh, canola, wheat, barley, and um, what's the other one? Um, sugar beets already planted. So... If you want, they start you off with like 10 or 15 pigs. In fact, we'll look at the, the menu. Um, I'm playing on normal. 10 pigs and 15 cows. Um, but you have the tools that you need and the food that you need, especially like there's a straw field that's already ready to harvest um, straight up to the right on field number two. We'll drive around a little bit too so you guys can see the farm. But um, they give you everything that you need to feed the animals right from the start. So you can go ahead and harvest your first crop and put it, uh, unless you're playing on seasons, then you're, you probably should tell, sell the animals. But they give you everything that you need. Um, and that's very rare uh, in this kind of game. Usually I go come into a map and it's missing like half the things that you need. They'll give you a bunch of cows, but then you have no you know, bailing equipment and you have no money. So it makes it very difficult to survive the farm uh, at the start. You have to kill off the animals and or sell them off and, uh, you know, start again but especially if you're not playing with seasons this farm is all inclusive and that is one of the things that i really like about it um the things i don't like it is really cramped i mean you can see here i can't even once i got the plow out, i don't think i'll ever be able to get the plow i mean this is really crowded here um i will say this this farm would be a perfect farm for fent tractors because the fent tractors are small but they pack a lot of horsepower um they also give you the other this is one, the only map that I've seen, <laughs> one of the few maps that actually gives you the, whoops, wrong door. There's the cows. This is the cleanup area for the cows, by the way. Um, they give you the Deutz uh, Far, that, they give you the Deutz Far 6.61 Agrostar. This is a, um, you know, the default tractor for the other, you know, 15, um, but we rarely see it as a default tractor now on the maps. I really like this tractor, actually. It's a pretty decent, you know, small, big horsepower tractor. Uh, so it's a good starter tractor. It costs a lot per day, but honestly, right now they give you—they're all new stuff. Um, over here we have Grandpa and his kitty, meow. Um, and then we also have a harvester. We have, um, you know, a cultivator. We have a plow. They've given you all that stuff. They've given you a fertilizer, and then we also have this uh, Pottinger um, pickup wagon. This is going to be excellent for you to. Um... Oh, and by the way, you can store uh, straw and grass in um and hay in this storage facility so if you can see here we have we and actually think they give you some, i think they don't give you some i'm sorry um but we have the ability to store it so um but see here we got that i mean it, show, it, show, it always shows that but we have the ability to actually store it in this silo facility so actually i think that might be over here if i'm not mistaken you you dump it here somewhere and then it comes back out uh I don't know, maybe over here. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really played around with that system much because I just went to bailing right away. I, I prefer bailing. But this is a, st a straw storage barn, and so you can store it. I don't know if it actually goes up here. That might be something to test out before we go. Um, but that would be pretty cool if it did. We also have, like I said, we have 10 pigs, the pig farm, and the cow farm. I like it. They're conveniently located right here. The sheep are off a little bit uh, up the hill back over that way, but they're not far. Um they give you a water tank. They also give you a slurry tanker. When the cows start pooping, you can get slurry pigs too and uh, spread it around. Actually, pigs don't make slurry. Oh, wait. Duh. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the sheep don't make slurry. Um, and so we'll head up here. 
But uh, this is, I like it because it's an all-inclusive farm. This is one of the grass fields that you can mow. It gives you, like I said, pretty much everything that you need to start with. It doesn't have everything in it, but you can start here and really do well. If you want to get bailing equipment, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I would play on a normal or easy economy. The fields are very small, and you're not going to make any money. If you play on hard, you're going to really struggle. If you play with seasons, you're in big, big trouble. Seasons is going to make this a very difficult map because the fields are so tiny. Like, literally, like, 10 minutes to plow, you know, or less. Here's the sheep facility, so it's pretty dang close. Here's the harvester. Uh, one of the other things I like about this map, once again, we have the default equipment from 2015. Uh, I have not seen anybody... Everybody uses the case, and I'm so tired of seeing the case harvester. So it's nice to see a modern sample rose and harvester. Um, you know, a farm nowadays probably would still have the case. <laughs> It probably still runs. Uh, but here we have a sample Rosaloot, brand new harvester. So we have a modern modern harvester and a uh, modern tractor in the steer, stair. Uh, and then we could also, like I said, pretty quickly, um, well, not quickly. It depends on if you want to take a loan art or not. But I would really definitely recommend replacing your um, the, du the Deutz Far with a uh, Fent 700 Vario. Just stock would be fine because you got to, you know, about... About 20 more horsepower, 23 more horsepower, uh, and it's going to be a more modern, less expensive tractor to operate per day, um, and you're just going to be able to do a little bit more with it. But honestly, 143, for the equipment that you have right now, this is powerful enough. You could even go with a Vario with an upgrade, but this would give you a little bit less horsepower at 138. But maybe later you could replace the steer with this or just upgrade the steer. But anyway... Uh, Fent has some really nice options for a small farm like this, and that is kind of what they're designed for. So, um, you know, one of the downsides about this farm, well, as you can see, all the hills are, uh, are all the, the fields are on hills. So here's your sugar beet. So if you're doing baling, you have to be careful that the bales don't roll into the river because you're, you're probably going to do a round bale. Um, though if you, if you chose to do the small bales like the Welger setup, uh, which is going to be, I'll show you these guys. That's a mod, I know. People are like, where did you get that? Uh, Modhub.us. If you have, oh, I didn't load it. I'm sorry, I didn't load the Welger balers. But um, if you go with the square baler, you won't have an issue. But if you go with the round balers, you might have some issues. <laughs> Stuff rolling around. <laughs> I did, as I've, this is actually, this not particular one, but I'm, I'm playing on this map for my personal farm. I have I have a different save game on a different computer. I, I play on my laptop when I'm downstairs. But I'm actually really enjoying this farm. My only complaint is that it is a little bit tight in some places. Let's see. I don't think we have a car now. So we'll go ahead and take a little tour in the steer. Turn our headlights on. So once again, here's the main farm. Um, like I said, I really like the fact that everything is... Whoops, I have the... <laughs> That's not working. Okay, put that down. Put friend down. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. So we have the main farm once again. Uh, the doors all work and everything. We have our stack with our stuff. Uh, we have a main road over there, and then this is a back road. There are roads that go all over the map. Uh, so we'll do a quick map tour here. Over to the left side, we have our... Um, I think this is Gold Pacific. They use the same names that are on Gold Crest, so we have, you know, Mary's Farm and all that stuff, and they've moved it around, but these are the names. Uh, they have their own distinct look, but uh, here's one of the examples. This is one of your middle size fields, and you can see here, This is how long will that take to harvest? Oh, about eight minutes, and you're going to get about three or four bales of straw. So um, you do have to kind of plan ahead with the animals, but it's enough. You know to feed them and like I said you can also just use the loading wagon to feed them and store stuff so you don't have to get a baler but you can see here this is one of the issues I'm gonna back up here and show you once again come on faster this so if you're driving around in third-person view there's a lot of places on this map where you're like what I can't see the tractor and you have to go into you know the inside mode which is fine um, another thing that I should point out I have a pretty fast computer and you can see there's no slowdown but when I play this map on my laptop um, it does get that micro stuttering um, that some of these more advanced maps have. So just know that you have to have a pretty decent PC to run this smoothly. Uh, but one of the things I want to show you, there's a couple fields that are like this. Um, and it's kind of interesting because they have like wheat growing on them. And this does actually grow and become wheat. Um, 
So they've seeded it with grass and wheat and made a mess of it. I don't know how the, the author did this, but there's a couple fields like this. And you'll notice there's no number on this map. So what I would do is you could either make it a field or, you know, this is a nice grassy area and you've got grass over there by where the tractor is and grass up top. Uh, and then over on the other side of that field there's grass. I would honestly just grass this in and get another grass field out of it because you, once again, you're pretty limited on resources. Right now you only have 15 cows, so you're not going to need that much. But if you start to get more cows... You're going to have to, you know, deal with that. So um, if we go to the right, that takes us back around to the sheep farm where we were. Um, if we go to the left here, this is going to get us onto the main road that dead ends into nothing. But uh, I do like the roads, too. Once again, we have that. Um, they're not overdone. Like, I felt like Big Hoss with uh, American Heartland had these bumpy roads. Um, and they were okay, but... This one tends to have them a little bit less bumpy, but they're they're still bumpy, and I like it because you kind of it gives you a little bit of that feel of being inside of a tractor. Uh, once again, just showing the flexibility of Farm Sim as I compare this to some of the other games I've played recently. Um, Farm Sim is still king. I do love Farm Expert. Uh, pure farming looks cool, you know, but well, if a map is done right. It really can be so good, and it's still kind of cartoony, but there's a cell point right there. Anywhere you see a windmill, we have a cell point up there with the windmill. Um, this is not our field. 22 is behind us. Over on the, the right here, not with number 18, I believe 18 is our largest field. Uh, once again, it'll be due at, in the middle of the night. So your pigs have enough food to make it until the crop is ready. Uh, depending on the level that you're playing on, here is our biggest field right here next to a grass field that you can mow. Once again, the grass fields are all open. They don't belong to anybody. So, um, Once again, over on the left, that's our farm. So you can see here, we went all the way to the top of the map, and about three minutes later, we're back next to the farm. So the map is very small, um, which I like. I don't think, I don't, some people might have a problem with the map being small. I really like these small, like, quaint little maps. Um, and I love the, the scenery. It looks like we're... Somewhere in Germany or uh, in Switzerland. Um, and even better, this map is one of those maps that comes, you know, in the farm sim. So if you go into your, I don't know if it's out on console. I would assume that it is because it seems like it's, it doesn't have anything extra. Oh, but you know what? It has the straw storage. So that might make it so it's a script and it's not available on console. So I don't know if this is or not, but it's for sure available for the PC users. But it's in the mod hub. So if you go into the game, go into mods, you can download this map and... Um, Start playing to your heart's content, uh, and you don't have to go searching the web for it because it's right there. So I, I would definitely recommend this map. Once again, if you're looking for a small farm experience, uh, one thing I like, like I said, there's some things that you need to work towards, like the bailing system um, and maybe silage and stuff like that. But you have pretty much everything you need to get started, and there's not a rush to get there. I like this kind of map because you can just enjoy yourself, and this is kind of is the heart of farming, you know. So here is, I want to come back here and show you. We're on the far extreme of the map here on the western side. And here's a little grass field right here that we can mow. Once again, if you're using round bales, you got to be careful because there's that river and the bales will roll into the river. You can also get free water from that river. There's several places where you can uh, take your water uh, bucket and uh, or your water pail, <laughs> your trailer, and dip it in the water and fill it up. Um, so there is free water here. I have tested it out, and you can get water from this map. Uh, back here is our cornfield. This is our other big field. So once again, we have that there. You can see there's a an abbey or castle there up on the hill, which is real pretty. And we're driving directly towards our farm now. We're going to scoot south again and see the southern part of the map. But uh, once again, it's it's. I like this map. I, I find a lot of maps like these early on, but they weren't developed. They were missing things. They were missing... Like maybe you couldn't buy the fields, they just all belong to you. Or you didn't have any equipment with the map. Or it was missing a place to sell wool. You know what I mean? They, this map is fully feature, or, or it's feature rich. It has all the things that it's supposed to have for the game. Uh, and it's done in a way that really matches this. I love this. I mean, look at this. This tractor is huge for this map. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, like this, we have a burned down building here. That's pretty cool, having a little, uh, or abandoned building. And then uh, up here on the left, we have our um, animal exchange. This is where Ma this is Mary's farm. This is where you can buy and sell cows. If you have the trailer, pigs, that kind of stuff, sheep. You can also buy seeds here. But there are, oh, I should point that out. On the farm, you can buy, right next to the cedar is seed. 
right next to the fertilizer is a fertilizer tank. So you can buy fertilizer and seed on the farm. You don't have to go to the shop. And right here we have um, our sell point for the bales. So right next to Mary's Animal Exchange is the, um, the place where you sell bales. I'll take you over to the shop so you can see that. And then we'll continue up the other side of the map. Whoa. It's been, I'm in the right way to come here. Doing some off-road and off-road tractor and all right to the left there are just some more fields and grass. We'll we'll head up there last. Um, you can see this is a nice short tour and it's a very, you know like I said a very small map. So we do have a Dutzfar dealership. The downside with that and I don't they should have picked a brand. <laughs> I love the Dutzfar stuff. I do. Um, but the problem is they don't you know the the game only gave us small. <laughs> There's a Deutz right there, small Deutz far, or far, and then we have big. <laughs> we go right up to the Series 7, which, I mean, you could use this on the map, but it's it's a little bit of overkill, like a lot, and then the Series 9. So we do, we do they are pretty well represented in the game, but we're missing that middle-class tractor, like the T6 or the the N-Series or the Fortis or the, or the Fent. Um we don't have a mid-sized tractor, so I wish they would have gone with a different dealership. Um, you know, but whatever. It's that's just that's just a nitpicky point. Uh, this is a mod that model that's been around, so the guy just grabbed what he could off the web, and there you go. <laughs> that's far. Well, we could case even, or or just something that has more tractors in that small to mid-range, because that's the kind of place you'd find in this town, right? Someone that could actually sell tractors that fit on the farm. This is the sawmill right here. Um, <laughs> you get your wood drop off and your wood chip drop off. Uh, so once again, this map does not have any like extra scripts. There's no specialized, you know, greenhouses or anything like that. But I really like the map. Um, and like I said, it's cozy. I'm really enjoying it. You have the opportunity to actually maybe one day buy all the stuff and you know all the the fields without having to spend six months doing it. Um, so it just, I guess it's a very possible farm. It's a very hopeful or encouraging farm. The map ends right here. You can go up there, but you're going to hit a brick wall. This field is not included on the map. If I try to drive up into this part, it just stops. There's, this is the end of the map right there. So, But I like the fact that they spent enough time to make it so it's hidden. Like you look there, and it looks like there's stuff there. But that is the edge. So in here we have all this stuff. Over to the left is another one of those fields. Um, We've got grass, and then this little patch here that's growing looks to me like sugar beets. Um, that is a nothing patch. It, it, it belongs to you. You can keep growing sugar beets on there or turn it into grass. Also, next to that's another patch where it got... Oh, by the way, ah, this is the ah, this is the biogas plant right here. <laughs> you got one bunker, so you can pl a place for some equipment. And uh, and then this is this is cute. It has a little a little bit look. Oh, that's so cute, little Strautman. <laughs> so there's a bin to make biogas. <laughs> are those sugar beets? I think those are sugar beets right there. Could be potatoes. Um, we'll see what happens to them. But uh, I think that's potato. Or sugar beet. Uh, potatoes. It's rode out like a potato. So those are potatoes. Uh, and then over here, we also have this area, which is just some type of dead grass and something else mixed in. I don't know if those are... Ah, what are those? I don't know what that is. That could be potatoes too, maybe? That might be what potatoes look like when they're in their second stage. Because those look the same. Let's see. Well, we'll find out. Pretty sure that's potato mixed with grass. Uh, so you could kill that off and make this into a grass field or plow it up and make it into... Uh, but you own that, so that's pretty cool. They give you a little bit of extra field space there. Um, so that pretty much does it. If we t continue on this road here, it either takes us back to the farm or it takes us off to the sheep pens. Um, here we own, we don't own field number seven, but we own four and eight. And uh, so straight ahead there is the sheep farm. Well, on the other side of those, that down this road right here. That goes up to the sheep farm where we walked before. And then over here we own these two fields, the one on the... The canola field here on the left, and then this wheat field here on the right. There's our cows. And we're back to the farm. So, uh, once again, if you're looking for that small town, small European um, Alps kind of experience, this is a good map. I mean, this does it is somewhat re reminiscent of me of the Alps map. Not as breathtakingly stunning, 
But it is a cute map, and I think that you will enjoy playing on this map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look uh, at this, and it will be something that um, is interesting to you. Uh, I do feel like this is a great map, and like I said, I've really thoroughly enjoyed it so far. And it's free, so there's no, <laughs> no, no point in not trying it out, you know. But I think it's well equipped, and I, that's one of the things that really stood out to me when I first got it was like, wow, they gave you everything. Look at that. I don't have to go searching for anything. I don't have to wish this had this or that. Everything's right here in the map, and we've got it all as part of our farm. So you don't have to go hunting and pe pecking for equipment or trying to take out loans. In fact, you can pretty much get right into this map without taking out any loans at all. Um, though personally, I would go with some Stara. If you have the, the expansion pack, I would get rid of the plow and the cultivator and get a Stara with a uh, cedar on top and use uh, uh, cover crops, you know, the uh, oil seed radish to fertilize your fields. So, and it pl so it plows, cultivates, and fertilizes. Anyway, that's another story. Have a great night, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. See you next time on the channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.